All right, first off, the edit of my Faroo Island trip is going great. I'm halfway through when Jenik has already started on the VFX. Yes, there's gonna be actual bending in my Avatar-inspired movie. If you want to see more of my editing journey, then definitely follow me on Instagram. But today we're gonna do a different kind of bending. You see, the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once has tons of amazing visuals. And there's one of them in particular where everyone gets sucked into a bagel portal. Sounds crazy, but it's nothing really new or exciting. I mean, we've created portals before. We even brought the portal gun from Rick and Morty to life once. But we never really created the actual getting sucked into a portal. I mean, think about it. How would that happen? Don't ask me. So we took our inspiration from that movie, but added our own twist to it. You see, we've kind of like cranked up the portal gun from Rick and Morty. Order now at portal-gun.com and claim your 10% discount. So buckle up because this episode is gonna get crazy and there's gonna be nudity. <laughs> Now shooting this effect is super easy guys as you only need two very simple shots and that is one of you looking forward and you kind of like want to pretend that you're being sucked into a portal and then the second shot is going to be from that same position where you just kind of like turn your head around to the portal and you're being sucked in even more so you can do more exaggerated movements. And I don't think that we're going to need it but just to be sure guys make sure to also shoot an empty shot so that means you out of the frame. You know just always make an empty shot guys you never know if you need it or not. Don't do it, Timo. There are girls watching. If you say so. When we make our shots, we always shoot multiple takes. So that's why I'll first do a quick rough edit inside Premiere Pro to prepare everything for the VFX shots. Like maybe I need some stock clips of a lens flare or maybe some energy. Believe it or not, we can actually look for stock footage inside Premiere Pro. Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video, just released a game-changing plugin for Premiere Pro. From now on, you can find their entire library inside a Premiere Pro window. This means you have more more than 1 million royalty free high quality stock assets right here one click away while you edit no more switching between browser and project or forgetting where you save that damn clip it speeds up your workflow immensely letting you create more awesome stuff like maybe you want to create a cool hud hologram for your video something like we did multiple times well with the plugin you can search for hud elements and download everything you like straight to your project now besides hud elements you can use the filters to search for assets in HD to 4K resolution, Premiere Pro templates, overlays, you name it, you find it. And with the unlimited all access plan, you can actually download the entire library to your Premiere Pro project. Now besides that, you can also check out the other affordable plans. There's one for every need. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and their cool plugin, click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash Cinecom. To start off, I'm going to show you the main principle of the suction teleport effect. With my original clip selected in the timeline, I will create a duplicate of it. On this duplicate, I will rotoscope the head, singling it out. Then when I'm done, let's pre-compose the rotoscope clip. Now let's add some stretchy effects. Look for the CC smear effect and add that to your pre-comp. The from property I place on the face and the to property besides the face. With the reach, I can determine how far the stretch will go. And if I increase the radius, I can select more of Jordy's face. For our effect, I animated the CC smear so Jordy's face starts a little distorted, jumps around a few times and eventually becomes super distorted. Next I duplicated the pre-composed layer and on the top duplicate I also added a directional blur, which I also animated to follow along with my previous CC smear animation. Now let's just add a turbulent displace effect and create a simple animated mask on our top duplicate. We don't need everything to be blurry of course, so select both pre-comps and again pre-compose them. On this new pre-comp I will create a new mask, a very rough one and I also made sure it's feathered. This mask will follow my effect and blend in halfway with Jordy's face. As an extra element I will add some chromatic displacement from Red Giant to our pre-comp and maybe an extra turbulent displace effect. Then to emphasize the suction even more I duplicated our pre-composed layer and added the shine effect from Red Giant to the bottom duplicate. I increase the ray length a whole bunch giving those extra suction lines. You can also use the CC light ray effect to mimic this step. Because we based ourselves on the movie everything everywhere all at once we will also create this 
similar tear on our talent's face. On a new white solid layer, I will create a tear pattern with a simple animated mask. Then I added the roughen edges effect to soften the edge and make it more random. For the edge type, I also chose the roughen color option, creating a black outline. Next, I duplicated the solid layer and for the bottom solid, I adjusted the edge type back to roughen. I also placed the solid just above our original clip and adjusted the drag matte option of the original layer to alpha inverted matte, creating a hole in our talent's face. For the top solid, I will adjust the blending mode to multiply, giving us a feeling of depth because of the black shadow. To fill this hole, I will place another clip of Jordy's face underneath everything. However, because Jordy is moving his face like a madman, I of course need to track his motion, add the track data to a null object and link my two solids and the new head to the tracking data null, making it all linked together. As a final touch, I added some streaks and a glow to our shot to show the power of the gun. Of course, I can't forget the super heavy handheld motion. Oh yeah, as a bonus, let me quickly show you how I created this disappearing part of Jordy. First, I rotoscoped Jordy and stretched him out with the puppet pen tool. Then I made a hard cut to Naked Jordy. Now why would you do that? Which I also rotoscoped. Next, I animated Naked Jordy towards the gun and also warped him to make the motion more suction-like. Then I rotoscoped the close clip and gave it a small animation to match all the rest of the movements. And if needed, you can speed up everything a little bit. This will help to hide the cut better. And that's it. Jordy, Jordy, I made some upgrades to the portal gun. You want to see? Awesome. Yeah, show it to me. Oh, snap. My clothes didn't teleport with me. Anyways, guys, if you want to see how to make the actual Rick and Morty portal effect, check out the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, StoryBlocks, for the support. And as always, stay creative.